Did you ever wonder why Mihawk's power scaling throughout One Piece appears to be significantly inconsistent? When Mihawk is first introduced in comparison with Zoro's sword skills, he's like a mountain that can't be moved. But when he shows up in Marineford, his performance is quite lackluster to say the least. His strikes have barely any effect on Jozu, and most of the time at Marineford is spent in a 1v1 with Vista. And while Vista was known as a third strongest swordsman at the time, he shouldn't be able to hold a candle to Mihawk. But what if I told you that we've never seen Mihawk go all out? Mihawk was never invested in the War of the Best, and the only reason he showed up was because if he didn't, he'd be forced to give up his title as Warlord, and thus give up his ability to live in peace. Up until now, we've never seen Mihawk use a named attack or even use hockey. One of his epithets is the Clairvoyant, which hints that his future sight is probably on par or greater than Shanks' observation hockey. In my headcanon, it's that Shanks and Mihawk were always competing for the title of World's Best Swordsman, but once Shanks lost his arm, he could no longer compete for that title. And since then, Mihawk has stopped putting effort into practically everything, and lives out his days waiting for someone who can truly challenge him on the throne.